All right, what's going on, guys? Afflicted Gamer here, back with another division video. It's Friday. You know what that means? The vendors have reset. I will go from place to place, easy checkpoint to checkpoint to find out what the best items are for sale this week in the division. So, if this video is helpful in any way, shape, or form, please drop it a like. It's very much appreciated, and it does help the channel grow. And if you are new to it, I hope that you'll consider subscribing for more division content, as I do put these out every single week. Don't forget, you can follow me on Twitter at Afflicted Gamer, and the stream times for me to be live here on YouTube or at the end of the video. Now let's dive in. Don't forget guys, double check the hub because if you do own a blueprint, it will be across all characters. So apparently I do own the weapons for this week and possibly the attachments. Other than that, we've got a firearms mask and a electronics vest blueprint with a high velocity mag. So double check this guy, but everywhere else will be completely the same. Okay, exotics for the week. Pecan has 13% damage to targets out of cover with Vicious, Adept, and Pecan. Not too bad at all. Even though Adept is getting a nerf, you could get rid of Vicious for something else. Historian, 172% headshot damage. Wow, that is a max roll proficient. And Fierce are on it. Uh, uh, the choice is yours with that one. I am not a fan of those talents. Liberator, 20% enemy armor damage, sustained, focused, and fierce. Pass on that for sure. Cassidy, 339%. Stagger, capable and meticulous. Boomstick. Ah. Centurion, expert, and fierce. And for this part, I'll just scroll through the gear, just in case there's something that you guys may want. 93R, SMG9. Uh, SMG9 is not too bad, except for the crit hit chance is a bit low, but determined and competent are on it. M870, no. And by the way, for those of you, I love a couple comments of me, why are you just showing me gear? It's just the beginning part, guys. <laughs> Other than that, uh, I only show the best items. Anyways, Lone Star Mask, we have classified gear, so I don't know, but uh, if you're not into the classified thing for some reason, I would pick that up. And we've got all the new gear coming in the next global event, and then after that in 1.8, and I'm telling you, this stuff looks amazing but in the meantime if there is something you need to finish off your set or your build by all means pick it up like these striker knee pads are actually quite good and let's just quickly go through the rest of the stuff hopefully the uh the vendors will sell some decent items this week uh even the alpha bridge knee pads are good so were the fire crest ones they weren't too bad this stuff i won't throw in the description but everything else will be Ah, prototype stamina mod, but it's a, the stamina is on the low side. It'll be more useful in 1.8, but 3,259 health. That's pretty damn good. Other than that, downstairs, that is it. Okay, worry, let's keep going. All right, upstairs at the armory, he's got one item for sale. Military AK-47 with 23% enemy armor damage. Predatory, adept, and competent are on it. You could literally leave this as is, have a great PvE assault rifle, or you could reroll off predatory for something else if you're not a fan of it. Either way, this is a very good military AK. I'm sure I'll see you. Okay, at the DZ gear vendor in the base of ops, there is a prototype performance mod here with 2% pulse critical hit damage. I know for those of you that like to stack up your pulse crit hit, well, there is a prototype performance mod with a max roll for you guys. Alright, and the last stop here up in the base of ops, he has a rugged mini reflex sight, which is really good with 7% crit hit chance, 5.5% headshot damage, and 4% critical hit damage i'm actually going to grab some of these myself absolutely pick these up and put them on your shotguns and assault rifles all right down at camp hudson he has an mg5 for sale here 12 percent damage to targets out of cover which isn't too bad at all but look at this determined competent and adept if you're running a skill build and you love lmgs you know what i would absolutely pick this thing up take care Okay, at the meat locker, for those of you that are a fan of shotguns, my god, so far, so good this week. M870 Express, 343% Sagger, Train, Brutal, and Unforgiving are on it. Obviously, get rid of Train for something else if you don't like it, and you've got yourself a pretty deadly shotgun. Run it with that Lone Star Classified, oh, and you'll be a time. shotgun beast. 
Alright, at the Grindhouse safe house, she's got an MP5 ST for sale here with 22% critical hit, chance, accurate, determined, and destructive are on it. I point this out because you can obviously get rid of accurate for something else and have yourself a decent PvE MP5 SC. And I thought we were gonna do business. Okay, moving into the dark zone, that is it for all of the safe houses. Unfortunately, at West 34th Street, though, there is a suppressor for sale here with 7% critical chance, 4% critical hit damage, and 6% headshot damage with reduced threat on it. Absolutely grab a bunch of these and throw them on your submachine guns unless you already have a better suppressor. I'm sure you'll be back. At the West 42nd Street DZ checkpoint, she's got a prototype performance mod for sale here, 4% turret damage, that is a max roll, so if you're running builds like Firecrest, etc, anything with a turret, absolutely pick a few of those up and put them on your At the East 42nd Street DZ checkpoint, there is a G36C for sale here, 22% enemy armor damage, unforgiving, deadly, and focus are on it. Get rid of focus for something else, and you've got yourself a good PVE or PvP G36C. Thanks for nothing, asshole. Alright, at the East 58th Street DZ checkpoint, he has a reckless chest piece for sale here. The armor's not too bad either at 1894. 1267 electronics, over 16,000 health, 6% enemy armor damage, and 52% ammo capacity in the miner. Keep it as is, reroll it how you wish. Either way, for a reckless chest piece, this one is very good. Come back when you're feeling up to it. Okay, and for our final stop of the week up at the DZ09 safe room, sadly, this was not a great vendor a reset this week. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, there were a few items that weren't too bad, but the final item isn't even that great only pick it up if you need to finish off your build reclaimer gloves five and a half percent critic chance get rid of the pistol damage and reroll that for critical hit damage if you do use marksman rifles with reclaimer other than that guys that is it this i was not going to put any junk in there whatsoever even if you're a day one player or you know what you're you're new to the game these were the best items for sale this week, unfortunately. So hopefully next week will be better. Uh, lots of footage from the 1.8 PTS is on the way, so stay tuned for that as well. But regardless that the vendor reset was not the greatest, if this was helpful, please drop it a like. It's very much appreciated, and it does help the channel grow. We're closing in on 6K, so if you are new to the channel, consider sticking around by subscribing for more Division content as I do put these out every single week on top of a lot more. So anyways, guys, other than that, take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and I will see you soon in the next video.